A to 2. Just like so. Just like this. And now we're going to come here and just draw our straight line. From this straight line we draw, we're going to go down by one inch because this is the one inch we need to join it for with the belt as well. So we need to keep an allowance of one inch here at this waist part. All right. So we'll start working from this second line. Remember, from here to here is the allowance that we're going to be joining it. Okay. Now, here I'm going to be putting the waist measurement. Around my waist measurement is 28 divided by 4 will give me 7 inch. Plus 1 inch of the allowance. Okay. And now I'm going to use the same measurement that I use from here to here to my hip length measurement. This works for me perfectly. And as well, it's going to work for you. 7 inch. That's my hip line measurement. So I'm marking that. I'm going to come here and draw a straight line like this. Okay, and now the next thing I need to do is we need to come here at the hip line measurement and we put in that's the hip round the hip measurement. Round my hip measurement is 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inch plus 1 inch of allowance. I have 10 inch here, and uh, my skirt length is 22. Remember, I'm going to mark from here to here 22, just 1 inch because we're going to be joining it with the base. Joining it with the double. Okay, now we're going to connect this line from here to here, like this. Okay, just like so. Like this. Just like this. You're going to connect it straight. Come here. Place it like this. You're going to just wait, 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 wait. And as well use the pan curve for, for this, okay? Connect it to wherever we started. Now when we're done connecting it, we are simply going to cut this from here to here, all right? Okay, I want you to do this again here. Yeah. What we're going to do here, remember this is 22, so we're going to minus 23 altogether. We're going to minus 3 inch at this other side of the skirt here. Here like this. Here, 3 inch, we're going to go up by 3 inch. Here. Uh, oh, oh, here. I'm just going to connect it like this. From here to here, we're going to bring it like so. All right. Okay, we have this. Let me fold in the fabric. So for the front part of the skirt, we're going to divide our waist by 2. Remember, my waist measurement was 28 divided by 2 will give me 14. 14 plus 1 inch is 15. I'm that dark as you can see it is the measurement of uh, 15 inch and after which we've done that we're going to connect a straight line just like this to the 20 inch of the length of our skirt and as well i'm taking the back part of the skirt just to place it on top to get the exact length of the skirt i just mark it down and from the downer part i'm going to connect it to my waist uh, line measurement when i'm done connecting it the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to place you need to cut this cut two pieces of that after cutting it we're going to place it on the back of the skirt i'm going to pin that up after pinning it we'll take it to the sewing machine and just stitch it up Remember to always backstitch when you start to secure it, okay? So this is what it looked like after which we've gone and joined the two pieces the front to the back 
piece and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure all around the skirt like so and we're going to whatever we have we're going to use it to cut a triangle of uh, uh, 82 by 4 inch And you do the same thing to the waist as well. Here, yeah, since my piece, my fabric is not that long, I will be needing two of these. So whatever you have, that's 82, you're going to multiply it by two. So I know some of you will ask, why do I have to multiply it by two? Because we're going to be making gather with it, so you need enough material. And I'm still going to repeat the same process. That's, you measure your waist measurement, what, the waist of the skirt, whatever you have. You're just going to add just uh, about six or seven inch to it because you need extra excess to the back piece. I'm just folding the two edge of the that's the waist just folding it to put inside by one inch just press it up by the time you're sewing you just stitch on that line When you're done pressing that up, we'll simply uh, so now we need to hem the downer part first. Hem the downer part of the, 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 the gutter. That's, 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 that's you're going to pull half inch and in, so in that and in. We're going to take it to the sewing machine and you stitch that up. So I went ahead and continued doing it to get to the end and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be creating the gather for it. So you now you need to set your machine that the tension at 9, the thread Y at uh, 6 and the thread length at 4. For this you're going to create the gather easily. No need for you to pull that up. You see what I'm talking about. Backstitch when you start. You see? You continue doing the same process till you get to the end of the long piece. So as you can see here is what we have on the gutter at this age i just leave about two inch downward just to make it a little bit curvy and i cut up off and we're going to pin that and let after pinning it you make sure you take your time and put everything up together okay you pin it and we'll take it to the machine and we're going to stitch that up
so guys here is what it will actually look like when we sew it as you can see beautiful right it's so beautiful what we need to do is uh, you can see here you can see this is what it looks like guys let's get it so 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 beautiful right it's what it looks like and we need to trim these edges right here and zigzag it with a zigzag machine or, or you have a lock machine you just need to go ahead and trim it to give it a little bit smaller then later on we're going to take it to the overlock machine and just overlock that Here what you're going to do is you're going to just uh, pin the waistband to the skirt. After pinning it, we're going to take it and stitch it on that line. That line that when that line that is showing right there. You continue spinning it till we get to the end. Getting closer. Backstitch when you get to the end. When we are done stitching, we're going to remove our pin. You need to turn it to the right side. So you can see. Now we're going to put the like piece this. to the front the pin, of the yeah. skirt. Just like so. I'm going to pin it up. After pinning it, we're going to pick it and sew it See, we're gonna stitch here on top, right on top here, from here. We're gonna first of all fold this like this in what, like this in what? We're gonna stitch this edge. See from here to here. Later on, we'll turn it inside. Right, so so we look nicely. Okay, and we'll continue stitching this, stitch this till so we get to this end, and we'll be done with the skirt. So this is gonna depends on where you want the hole to be. If you want it to be on the right, or if you want it to be on the left. So you're going to open just on stitch one side of the skirt, not all. You're going to on stitch about two inch. So you can see like what I did here, stitch about two inch and you leave about a distance of two inch. After doing that, we'll make sure we put everything inside. We're going to sew it, join it to the waistband and we'll make sure we leave that hole there. That way you'll be able to pass one of the waistband to inside. Yeah. I'm just going to place it like this and I'm going to stitch. Make sure it goes inside. So that's the hole I was talking about. You're going to place, put, take one side of the skirt, 
one belt of the skirt and pass it through you see just like so now you're going to take the other side and put on top this is what it really look like the skirt is so beautiful and i hope that you guys really love it because me i do you can put on this skirt with any other half top or that you have at home thank you guys for watching see you on my next project